My Chinese Dress, CD Story I had always been fascinated by my grandfather's stories of the Vietnam War. He had seen and experienced things that I could never truly understand, but I admired him for his strength and courage. Whenever he spoke about those times, there was a sense of nostalgia mixed with a hint of sadness in his eyes. I could tell that those memories still haunted him. One day, as we sat together in his old study, he brought out a carefully wrapped package and handed it to me. Lee, this is for you, he said, a slight smile tugging at the corners of his lips. I unwrapped the package to find a beautiful traditional Chinese dress, also known as a chongsong. It was an elegant piece, adorned with intricate embroidery and rich colors. Grandpa, this is stunning, I exclaimed, turning it over in my hands. It's for your future wife, he explained, his voice tinged with a touch of nostalgia. I bought it during my time in Vietnam, intending to give it to a woman I cared for deeply. But fate had other plans, and I never got the chance to give it to her. I felt a mix of emotions, both honored and overwhelmed by this gesture. While I appreciated the sentiment behind the gift, I couldn't help but wonder about the differences between our generations. My grandfather's values and views on gender and sexuality were rooted in a different era, shaped by the hardships he endured during the war. He often criticized the modern world, viewing it as softer and lacking the toughness that defined his generation. Curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to try the dress on privately in my room. As I slipped into the Changsam, I noticed that it didn't quite fit me. The dress was designed for a woman's figure, and I felt a pang of disappointment. I glanced at myself in the mirror and pondered whether I should alter my appearance to fit the dress properly. I started by shaving my legs, thinking it would help me fill out the dress more suitably. But even then, I wasn't entirely satisfied with how I looked. The thought of using drugs to enhance my figure briefly crossed my mind, but I quickly dismissed it as an extreme and unsafe idea. As days turned into weeks, I found myself captivated by the process of trying to fit into the dress. It became more than just wearing a piece of clothing, it became a journey of self-discovery and understanding my identity. I realized that I appreciated the beauty and history behind the Changsam, and it felt like a link to my heritage. Slowly but surely, I began to fill out the dress naturally. The more I wore it, the more I felt a sense of purpose and identity. It was as if the Changsam had unlocked a part of me that I had never explored before. I could feel my grandfather's experiences and wisdom guiding me on this unexpected path. With time, I embraced the dress and the new persona it gave me. I saw myself as more than just Lee, the young man who lived in the present. I felt like I embodied a piece of my family's history and my grandfather's strength. I became proud of this newfound side of myself. But there was a sense of trepidation as well. How would the world perceive me in this dress? Would I be judged or misunderstood? These thoughts echoed in my mind, causing moments of doubt. Yet, deep down, I knew that this was an important part of my journey, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Finally, one sunny afternoon, I took a deep breath and stepped outside, proudly wearing the Changsong. The wind brushed against my face, and I felt an inexplicable sense of freedom. I walked with my head held high, knowing that this was a moment of acceptance, not just from the world but also from myself. As I introduced myself to the world as the new Lee, the one who embraced both his grandfather's past and his own identity, I discovered that some objects hold the power to shape lives. The Changsam had become more than just a piece of clothing, it had become a symbol of acceptance and self-expression. In a world that was constantly changing, sometimes the most profound transformations came from within. And as I walked forward in the beautiful dress, I carried my grandfather's stories with me, a reminder of the strength and resilience that runs through my veins, connecting me to a past that was both painful and beautiful. The End